on Young Young Kipper. I, I, I keep calling. I, you know, when I was growing up, it was always called Young Kipper. You know, it was like the Yiddish way of saying it. Now I, I think we always all Jews are saying Yom Kippur, uh, the Hebrew way. Um, you can't end the service until the sun goes down. Now it's 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 really hard sort of to to do that. It's a 24-hour kind of service, a day, day there, obviously, especially during, like, if it was, say, early in September and we still had a lot of light. You might end the service and also you realize you have 15 minutes before you can blow the chauffeur. Okay, the ram's horn to end the service. So the rabbi of our congregation, the service will be over. There were no more prayers to say, except, but it was like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes to kill. He would start talking to the congregation in Yiddish. And he was telling stories in Yiddish. And the congregation all of a sudden would start roaring with laughter. It's about over a thousand people roaring with laughter. Now, I was, a little, I was a kid, maybe 10 or 11, sitting way in the back. We had, there was like a little section on a stage in the back for, for young people. We didn't have to pay tickets. Okay. And we started laughing mockingly at, our, at, our, uh, at the adults. We had no clue what they were talking about. Clearly, the vast majority of this congregation were first generation, or maybe even second generation immigrants, okay? And he wouldn't be speaking to them in Yiddish if they did, obviously didn't speak the language. No, I would give anything to have a time machine now to go back to 1960 or 1961 and go back to that. I mean, it's just, oh, it's just so wonderful.